Now, it's interesting to go back in history and look at these people like Serinthus and what he believed, but where he got his ideas from. You see, a lot of these ideas came from Babylon. And this is where the, the Jewish Christians were carried off into captivity in Babylon for many years. So the sect of the Pharisees were particularly, with the Kabbalah, were, were particularly influenced by Zoroasterism. And in Zoroasterism, there was the concept of the millennium. There were concepts of periods of time, especially of utopia and of a, a, a thousand year reign of peace. So this Judaizing idea of a millennia was in Judaism, but where did it come from? Zoroasterism. So now this guy, Serinthus, was a Jewish Christian from Egypt uh, and a Gnostic, an arch heretic that St. John, the Apostle John, opposed. Now, it's said that it's very possible, and it's said by the Church Father, that the actual writer of, of Revelations was Serinthus. This is this is antiquity. Now, also, it's it said first and second John were supposedly, and and the book of the Gospel of John by the Elogi. But certain people have definitely said that Serinthus uh, imitated an apostle, and it says in the scriptures very clearly that people will imitate apostles and try to put their false doctrines forward. So. Although this, you might think, oh, this is here or there, this is something, an anomaly that was in history that makes an awful lot of sense, especially that because most of, of his teachings are Gnostic teachings, and they, and they go along the lines of Revelation. And so really to look at who Serinthus was, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start to really kind of make it a, a point to know his teachings, and his idea of the crucifixion of Christ and angels, there's an awful lot of stuff to be, to, to be gleaned from this whole person, Serinthus. Thank you.